Hi there. I'm David. Happy that you're here to learn more about SID Refresh. In this video, I'll be showing you how to import configurations using the tool. Before starting the actual process, it is important to ensure that all the general prerequisites are met to run SID Refresh without any problems. You can watch this video where I discussed it in detail. Or simply go to our documentation website and navigate to the SID Refresh section on the user's guide page. Once everything is verified to be working properly, we are now ready to launch SID Refresh. You have the option to use either the GUI or a console terminal to run the whole procedure using SID Refresh. But for the sake of this video, we will be using the SID Refresh GUI to perform the import process. You can launch SID Refresh in GUI mode by running the following command in a terminal. The next step is to verify or specify the path where our 3 trans is saved. Upon the initial launch, SID Refresh will check the environment variables and automatically search for our 3 trans in the default directory. Here is where it is installed by default. If our 3 trans is not in the default directory, you should specify the path where it is saved. The next step would be to define the import directory. Upon the initial launch, this will be populated with the default directory. But for the import process, you want the same configurations that you exported previously. So, what you need to do here is, to select the directory for the same folder that you created in the export procedure. Next, select the number of our three trans processes to use. Here, you can select the number of our three trans processes, that you want to run simultaneously. By default, the slider is positioned at 1. For this specific example, let's select 5. Then, select the operation that you want to perform. For this specific example, let's select import tables. Notice that the tool automatically grayed out some of the components, and this is because the configuration files that are available in the export import directory we defined in step 3, are only these ones that are available for selection. So, for the next step, select the components that you want to import. For this example, let's select all but you also have the option to do a manual selection if you wish to do so. After that, click the Save button here, navigate to the same directory, define a file name for the configuration file, and click Save. You do this just so you can repeat the same import process again, for the next system refresh. And for the last step, start the import process. Click the Start button to execute the import process. Once the execution completes, a pop-up window will appear and tell you that the import is completed, and the logs have been saved in the same directory. Here is the panel where you can see the components with their respective process runtime. And if you encounter an error, you can use these logs to perform troubleshooting if necessary. You can also validate a successful import using the console terminal. All you need to do is navigate to the export directory and check the log file created. View the content of the log file. It should contain the tables imported. Alternatively, you can navigate to the path where the import alicus log file is defined and view its content. Validate if there are any errors. If none were detected, issue the start sap command to get your systems up and running. That concludes the import process, using the SID Refresh GUI. 
Do you have other questions not discussed in this video? Contact us or visit our website at www.itconductor.com. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and give us a like. Thank you for watching.